Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor. I've had a couple students email me asking me how to download and unzip a file. So I want to make sure we're clear on that. So all of my data files for all of my classes are delivered on the content tab as zip files. The reason I have them zip is so that they download quickly. So for example, I just got into my CPCA 114 class, that's Access 1, and here are the data files and I'm in Chrome, which every browser downloads files a little bit differently. So you may want to open Chrome if you want to follow my instructions specifically. But I click the drop down arrow for the data files, click download, and then I notice that they're being downloaded to this little status bar here. And so when I see that file name, it's kind of cryptic, but that's the ISBN, the International Standard Book Number for the book. And I can see that my zip file has been downloaded. When I click my zip file, there inside my zip folder, there's a data files folder. And that happens to be in my downloads folder. So I download a lot, obviously. But here we go. So I'm going to open up my zip file by simply double clicking it, seeing what's inside of it. Now, as soon as you download something to your own local computer, that's great. But you want to take whatever's inside that zip file and remove it and put it someplace safe that you can work on your data files. You do not want to leave the files inside the zip folder because after all, the zip folder is compressed. Its only purpose in life is to quickly move a bunch of files from point A to point B from our JCCC file server down to your local computer. So once the zip has been downloaded, it's really important that you get those data files out of there. So I'm going to cut them. I'm going to run up to my desktop, make a new folder for that class, CPCA114, just to keep things tidy, and right-click and paste. And there we go. I've got the data files in the CPCA114 folder that's sitting on my desktop. And so I'm ready to go and open up the individual folders and see all the different databases and files that I may use in the exercises in that class. Let's run back to my class website and go into a Web110 class where I have the same type of issue. I'm going to click on the Web 110 section. It doesn't matter which. Click on the Content tab, and here are my data files. In this case, for this particular class, I've got all the files broken out by chapter. So if I wanted to download, well, let's pick Chapter 4. If I wanted to download the Chapter 4 files, again, in Chrome, the drop-down list, click Download, watch your status bar, and you'll see that the Chapter 4 folders have been downloaded. I believe up in Firefox, the download button is up in the upper right-hand corner. So you have to know your browser and know how to access the files that are downloaded to the default location that that browser uses. If I were to find this in Explorer, I believe I can access my downloads folder simply by going over here to my folder tree. And there's my Chapter 4 zip. I'm going to double-click it to open it up. There's my Chapter 4 files. Again, I'm going to control C for copy and find a safe place such as up on my desktop in an organized fashion. I'll build a folder here for Web 110 and control V for paste those files into that folder. And now I've got the chapter four files to work with. I hope this helps you download and unzip files. Thank you.